How's it been? Long time no see. Before the stream starts today, I want to get some stuff out of the way. It has been a while since we've been last up because I decided to take a week off of streaming so that I could enjoy the One Piece live action, which I guess we'll do a mini review of that right now. My thoughts of the One Piece live action were, overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. The best episodes, in my opinion, are the first and last episode, with um, some highlights being episodes two and or episodes two, episodes three, and episodes four. For me, ironically, the Baratier felt like the weakest arc, but it had a lot of good stuff in it. Overall, I would have to say that the series was really well done. There's a lot of things that I would have personally changed. But you got to do what you got to do. If you haven't seen it yet, I recommend you totally go do so. And I guess that's all for me on that front. So, in other news, we're going to try to do a uh, hard mode on Reimu, because I haven't tried out the other variation of Reimu yet at this point. And beyond that, I don't really have anything else. We'll just see what it goes. We don't have any builds in mind, so we're just going to wing it and see what happens. This game has a lot longer load times than I really remembered, now that I think about it. Alright. I kinda wanna drop these sound effects. Because the sound effects are kinda loud in this game, now that I think about it. I love the music. I don't want the music to get too quiet. But I think we can handle that. Alright, let's do a new run. We're going to try out the Hakurei Purification Rod build. And the only Spellbinding Circle, which is... Gives us some barrier, which might actually um, be really useful, because it puts uh, weak on people as well. And Duplex Barrier, 12 damage if you have Barrier deal that damage twice. So we want to have barrier. That's how this build works. Confirm. And we've unlocked another one of these. Hyper inflation. You are half as likely to find upgrade cards. And talking to shop prices are 10% more expensive. No time to rest. Gold power and life gained after bosses is reduced by half. Yikes. Enemies have more life and hit harder. Hard mode go! I'll help you as much as I can, Raymu. Feel free to take anything you need. Advantages. So, hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm a big fan of choosing a... Oh, wow, we don't have that option this time. So we can remove a card, upgrade a card, or gain a random shining exhibit. Sponsor is boring. I think we'll just upgrade the one card we have because a lot of the other options I don't really like. We even do upgrade it. Oh, this becomes much better. Cost reduction. 
Akari Rainbow recalled her favorite Don Maku moves. Give some medicine, pill, more life, please. Time to resolve the incident. Alright. I probably should have checked to see if there's any new updates for this game, which I usually do, but I forgot to this time. We don't have any money because we're playing Reimu, because the fandom thinks that she's poor for some reason. <laughs> Anywho. Let's see... I don't have any good cards. Let's just go for the Elite straight up. Oh, I forgot. We're playing on hard mode. So, maybe going for the Elite straight up is not the plan. Oops. But hey, we start with one barrier because... What does this do again? If there is unspent man at the end of Rainbow Tomb, gain three barrier. At the start of combat, gain one barrier. That was the optimal turn. Okay, so they're gonna put Graze up, so I can just go all out on damage this turn. Things are working out. They have two grays? Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, now I can just kill you. One mana deal 24 damage seems really good. Three gods of Sumiyoshi. Draw three cards, gain two temporary firepower. Each card attack card gives two temporary spirit for each defense card drawn this way. Okay, so if I draw attack cards, I get firepower. If I draw defense cards, I get spirit. That's just an overall good card. Gain ten block, twelve barrier. This is probably the card we want. 15 to each enemy, upgrade for two random attack riders as attack cards. So, we'll get this for now. Because we want to prioritize getting some decent block for barrier build. So we're going for barrier Raymond. Nine times two. try to leave unspent mana so that we can get barrier. That's half their life there. So now we want to get block. Let's do 10 damage. Put them down to 12. We can theoretically kill them this turn. We're going to put barrier up. Yeah, this just kills. Man, upgrading this early was definitely the right call. It, did, it felt like a bad decision, but it turned out like it's working out. Is Barrier Rome, Reimu just busted? Might be. Okay. That's expensive. One graze, draw two cards. That could come in a lot of handy. New Year Visit, one of three attacker defense cards, gain two firepower if the attack card is chosen to a spirit. I think we'll just go with the Graze and draw two. We'll upgrade that as soon as we can. Alright, Troubles of Being Fury, Kagero. 
Moon's making me all fluffy again. Treasure I found help you solve the instant faster. Yes, give me the wolf fur. Instantly level resolved in no time. What do we get? Whenever three skill cards are played, a turn draw two cards. Interesting. And then we have the jank wolf fur. I think we have a... Oh, it's these three. Yeah, how rainbow, just how powerful we are. 14 damage early? And the star is going to use their spell card. But, hey, we got this right off the bat. Sunny first. This is just good, just having this 10 block up for one. Um, this gives us a graze. Um, or I can just give myself 20 gold. Oof. Ugh. Ew. This elite challenge was a bad, bad idea. I 
think we can handle this from this point on. We're a very defensive deck and we're not doing good at defense. Things are not coming up Millhouse yet. 17. Can I do 17 damage this turn? I cannot. Cards. This kills you. <laughs> and the comic give grants two life and five power. Cool, so if we can avoid taking damage, let's get some of that life back. Ten damage. The additional damage equal to Raymond's barrier. Barrier slam. If we upgrade that, that'll be pretty good. A number of attendees are also looking for the culprit, just like her. Who do you think might be the culprit? Choose your opponent and become the boss of the first act. I don't care. Give me the power. And Mahakura is fired up. She's been itching to fight Cherno for a while now. Really? Has Reimu been itching to fight Cherno? Is that is that in character? Raymu decides to exit the bamboo forest. Alright. So we're going Gap Elite this time. Right? No. Let's, just, let's avoid the Elite. I don't think we need the... We don't need the, the exhibits. This does more. Two mana for 11 damage. We can afford to be mana inefficient a little bit, because being mana inefficient gives us some barrier. That kills. Alright. Some of our life back. One battle at a time. Seven damage two times. Apply one weak. One graze two cards. As much as I don't want to grab this, this is the best card here. Alright, event. Something good. Oh, it's this one. Lost Bamboo Forest, Last, <laughs> last Wars. Game Girl Advance is a portable console only bad math Nintendo. A company that can't even understand the concept of the metaverse is still lousy. That's your exposition. No idea what they're fighting over. Me neither. I want the lighter. When a player deals attack damage for the first time each combat, apply one vulnerable to the targets. We're doing if we do multi-attack spells, this is pretty good. Although we want barrier, whenever the player gains a debuff for the first time each combat, gain 10 barrier. Let's go with that. Don't fight anymore, Renosuke once said Nintendo's VR technology is outstanding. 
Your Bill Hakuri tries to separate them by force, blocking a few punches from Moko, who gradually gets the upper hand. Oh, I forgot that cost us life. Ugh, dumb decision. Stop being nosy, Reimu. Mr. <laughs> Reimu, please accept this as a token of my appreciation. I'm counting on you to resolve the incident. Alright, so we need to prioritize this one. Because this gives us barrier now. Sick girl. Ugh. Vulnerable when she dies, 7 damage when they explode. 6 damage. spell we can cast, so we'll cast it. I want to get that Kami aura. Debuff to the second barrier. Forgot about that already. Which means this is a kill now. Let's do this. Get more barrier. Kill you. See if we luck into drawing it again on the shuffle. We do not. But this can put you in one shot right now. We're very defensive now. I'm very uh, I'm very confident we will not get hurt. Cards, a temper that costs zero. Deal 12 damage if Reimu has barrier. Deal that much damage twice. This is another copy of that. 24 block. Static charge. It's defense that gives us... Hmm. That does damage. damage, deal damage to the attacker. Um, this is probably the best card here. We're a defensive deck, so we'll grab the free defense card. Assistance from Ante. Diligent Rabbit Courier. There's our high-tech glasses. Why aren't you going after the culvert yourself? I already sent some rabbits to handle it. It's a lie, they're all on vacation and none of them will take my calls. Alright, what do we got? So, we still have, like, no money, so we'll go this route here. Gap Elite. Strong life force finally accomplished the last steps of ascension. Alrighty, free upgrade. We see the blessing of the god at Evernight. Upgrade a card. Behold my scale powder. Um, hmm. So, we 
want to get rid of double pips. Powder. Power, not powder. I guess powder that gives power. Words. They, they fail me. Black butterfly. Oh, so much barrier. damage this turn. Great duplex barrier card. Talisman protection again. Two firepower. Let's skip. I mean, it's an ability card. It's cheap, and we only need to cast it once. We'll grab the one this time. If it comes up again, I won't grab it, though. are we to the boss? We'll have an opportunity to heal before the boss. Ability cards. That was three firepower. We want to get rid of double pips. might be the end of us here. One graze... Graze replenished to one at the end of their turn. So we want to hit her once every time.
forgot the yin yang orbs get barrier. 13 accurate. Nazrin rods. Unlocks the ability to douse at gaps. Find new exhibits. Yes. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Another double pip red. Ten damage to a random enemy twice. Frame has temporary firepower to gain red. Interesting. Deal 12 damage to each enemy. Enemies with barrier or block are dealt that damage twice. Hmm. This is situationally good, but... This is another copy of our key spell. I want the health. I'm not risking it. All right. Base Cherno. <coughs> All right. Did you steal the jeweled branch? What's a jeweled branch? Oh boy. Seven times three. out of it now. Just keep building barrier. Twenty-six. takes a little bit of effort.
Okay, it's locked next turn. It's almost like barrier. Ugh. These mana freezes suck. every turn, eh? Frost armor. Ugh, it's so hard to mulch through this. didn't keep barrier. Oh, that sucks. Six damage. Uh, I'm gonna lose my barrier before the key turn as well. I 
I have the barrier. Artifact doesn't, or relic exhibit doesn't do well. Um, that's yellow to the mana base at the start of the player's turn. Gain two block for each upgraded card in the hand. That sounds really good. Temporary firepower. Yeah, we want this. Old style Miko clothes. And now we can go visit a store. Five temporary firepower, gain three grays, XL. Whenever right meal exiles a card, get a persuasion needle. Exile each card in the hand, get a yin yang orb. the best one here. Alright, Act 2. I think we'll just still go for another gap. I want to upgrade the cards we have. We have too many pips. We need mana reduction. 20 damage already. Alright, what do we got? 17 damage, play one weak and vulnerable. Dragon Sling Circle. <laughs> uh, evil Ceiling Circle. Let's do Ceiling Circle right there. 14 damage to each enemy, 17 damage, play one weak and vulnerable. Oh, I love this event. Refine the Light Jade. 
Studying magic jewels. Hmm, I see. What a coincidence, Remu. Can I help you with the affinity of these jewels? A more than sufficient test subject. Yes, convert one of my mana to philosopher mana. We have a bunch of these. Feels that she can channel a powerful stream of mana. Deal 16 damage to each enemy, choose one of three Rainbow Jane Yin Yang orbs. Oh boy. Free Yin Yang orb on the battlefield. Secret Porter costs one less to play. I don't know how often that occurs though, because that, that's an enemy type, right? The Yin Yang orb? All cards present in the hand. Ah. Draw a pile, discard pile, and exile. Interesting. So this can theoretically cost... This can theoretically cost one. Interesting. Yeah, let's try it. Now we just gotta keep an eye out for Yin Yang Orb cards. get this second pip down. And then secret border is something we want to consider from this point on. Trade with Nosuke. Do I have anything you I don't want? Take my dowsing rods. Yes. Now we can go to a store. Payment received. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the Nintendo. Alright. What's next? I guess let's do store elite. No, no, not these two. I'm killing you first. Eh. Eight 
when retained, increase, uh, no, I don't care. It's a okay. I think we've stabilized. Another one of these, another one of these. Gain double rainbow, draw three, refract it. I don't think we'll skip. Ah, Rebellion Against Rare Cards! Shimiyamaro Sakuna. For those who only know rare cards, must understand the feeling of being looked down upon by a weak card. We must use the Miracle Now to rebel against the rare cards we move. Upgrade all basic cards. Yes! I get you. I always found it hard to part with these cards, mainly because getting rid of them is too expensive. <laughs> awesome little mallet. Grant these weak cards strength! And just like that, we got so many color pips out of the way. This should be what Sage wants. Huh, why does it feel like you've become even smaller? Alright. What do we have here? Apply lock on. After visiting a gap at the start of the next comic, gain rainbow. Number of choices by card rewards increased by one. Thank you. Getting that early is going to make this run very interesting. Eighth block, another one of these. Twelve damage at a Union Orb. Haniwa Front is a weird card. Play two weak, each enemy exile. Your visit. Whenever Ruma loses a buff, gain three bear. Yes, we want that. defense matrix. At the end of the character's turn, gain block. Interest is frost armor, but for everybody. Interesting. have everything I want here at this point. Grab this just for some synergy. We've got a lot of money, might as well spend it. the trade for a rare card in the next chapter. So... Two firepower, two spirit. This adds a card to the deck for combat. We might get an opportunity to use it. It's just very useful in general. And now we can upgrade a card.
right, onward and upward. Petery! I'm a little bit more confident in my ability now. Build some barrier. We have time to cast this, so we might as well. What do we want to add to the deck? Another copy of this. This is a card I want, Wandering Heaven. I want that in the main deck. Nature first crap into the game. Barrier slams. We have choices. 13 block, 13 reflection. It's already upgraded. 8 damage to random enemy 3 times. 20 damage apply to make it vulnerable. 19 damage to Raymond has barrier apply to vulnerable. That's a uh, synergy beast, so we'll grab that. Raisin supply. What do we get? Spider Lily Caracasa. Enemy defeated, gain red red. Start of the player's first turn, each combat gain eight block and upgrade run random card. The Caracasa it is. 
Thanks a lot. Why aren't you going off to go by yourself? I'm a bit busy. <laughs> You're the janitor as well. All right. So we want to go Gap Elite. So let's go with the top one. Doesn't really matter. Mighty Miss Remu, would you mind doing the Matriarch Kiketsu family favor? Select Matriarch of the Kiketsu family. The Otter Spirits smell some of the Kappa's rogue drones for the sake of the land. Please deal with the issue as soon as you can. Sure. Rare exhibit. Why do I agree without knowing what the enemy is? You know what the enemy is, she told you. Whoo, this is a hard encounter. A lot better than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Whenever a player takes damage for the first time each combat, gain double yellow. Get another one of these. Or another ability that triggers constantly. How about when I'm Whenever a Reimu, at the end of Reimu turn, do 5 damage each enemy. This also happens when a Misfortune or Status card is drawn. One life, add a Yin Yang, lose one life, add a Yin Yang Orb to the hand. Whenever Reimu plays a Yin Yang Orb, gain two temporary firepower and a spirit. That combos with something that we're doing right now. As expected, Miss Reimu, please accept my carefully prepared gift. The ticket to Hell. Ooh, whenever you take the. Lose life, draw a card. Yes, fam. Please call me if you need something else done again. Oh, not the drowned girl. Alright. Let's get that.
Nice. Kept that barrier. Staples easy button. That is a very crazy card. Choose one of three random attack cards across zero. Fifteen block. Twenty block. It's gonna add junk to our hand, but we'll grab it. Sort by type, let's go for abilities. You're not worth it, you're not worth it. Ooh. Maybe. I don't want this card anymore. much more cost efficient. All right, who's the elite? Oh, it's Coper. Starting out with 16 blocks is really nice. slams were set. the damage of basic attack cards. Basic attack card has a base cost of one. It deals two more damage. Otherwise, it deals four more damage. It's just a knife. Two graves, one vulnerable. That's a weird card. Tiny hitbox. Gain four life. Convert Raymond's block into barrier. Exile. That's situationally really good. And it might matter. boss to fight in Act 2, Tenshi. You're comparable to some of the Act 3 bosses, personally. Every time I fight you, I feel like I'm going to lose the run. Let's get a graze and some card draw.
get a good attack card. Right? So we'll just ability up here. Let's cost one. Flawless.
suck. right here for six mana. So that's not enough. Give this one last try. Okay. So we want to try focusing on getting this off earlier. So that we can keep getting that benefit. bit of a different strategy this time. give me more long-term benefit.
all the debuffs are gone. And another flawless turn. Great. I hate this card. Get rid of that, please. Some of this. I still need to do 130. This costs a one now. Let's see what four we get. Seven. Last time, though. say Tenchi is a potential run-ender, and this only helps to prove my point. We got close, but luck of the draw was not on our side. And I believe we have to clear in order to unlock the difficulty above that. So, luck of the draw didn't work out. Could we have built a more streamlined deck? Maybe, but I don't know how much it would have helped. Because Tenshi just hits super damn hard. It's kind of, there's not much I can really do about that. I think uh, if we do this again next time, we'll probably try out Sakya. We'll try out Blue Sakya next, because we haven't done that. And then maybe try out Green Cherno.
I actually might have to look back. I don't remember which Saka you play we played. I remember having a lot of knife cards. I think I believe we built around discard more than anything else. But until next time. This is just an extra stream because I had some extra time. We'll probably be either doing uh, Honkai Star Rail next stream, or we'll be doing uh, Linny's Story in Genshin. Those are the next two things on the chopping block. Hopefully things go better in the future. Stay safe, everybody. Join the Discord if you haven't already. Bye-bye.